गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सुबोदीप घोष एंड आई विल बी टेकिंग योर केमिस्ट्री क्लास टूडे इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मैटर द काइनेटिक थ्योरी ऑफ मैटर एंड द डिफरेंट स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर talking about matter we come to know that anything that has mass occupies space and has volume can be called as matter depending on the temperature and pressure conditions matter can exist in three states namely the solids liquids and gases we also know that the atoms and the molecules they are the constituting particles of matter atoms are the tiniest particles constituting matter but they cannot exist independently they combine to form molecules which rather can exist independently the kinetic molecular theory explains about the existence of matter in the different states and the interchange between the states of matter the kinetic molecular theory tells us about matter that it consists of atoms and molecules which are tiniest particles they are in constant motion and possess kinetic energy the postulates further tells us that due to their constant motion these particles result in collision with other atoms of the same matter and also of any other matter they come in contact with as a result of these collisions the kinetic energy which they possess is exchanged among them this exchange of energy results in the change of phase or state of matter from the kinetic theory again we come to know about the definitions of intermolecular forces of attraction and the intermolecular spaces that exist in any state of matter these depend upon the nature of molecules there may be similar molecules or dissimilar molecules the force of molecular attraction between dissimilar molecules or atoms are adhesive forces of attraction and the force of attraction between similar molecules are known as cohesive forces the space between the molecules of a matter are known as the intermolecular space the change of state of matter depends on the intermolecular space between the molecules and intermolecular force present 
between the particles of solids, liquids and gases. It also depends on the collision between the molecules of the three states of matter. The molecules in solids majorly vibrate about their mean positions. The properties of solids are that that they include and are closely packed molecules that vibrate at their own positions. Due to this, they have fixed shape and volume. The volume of solid depends upon the size of the particles. The solids also possess strong intermolecular force of attraction. Due to the negligible movement of particles in solids, they lack kinetic energy. The average kinetic energy of the particles is directly proportional to the temperature of the solid. The intermolecular space between the molecules of solid is negligible. About the liquids, the molecules in liquids move from one position to the other within the liquid. They consist of closely packed molecules which are in random motion but they maintain the volume. The volume of liquid depends on the size of the particles. This in turn affects the properties of a liquid. The decrease in motion of the molecules of liquid allows the interparticular force of attraction to act which significantly affect the properties of a liquid. Liquids have fixed volume and take the shape of their container. The average kinetic energy of the particles is directly proportional to the temperature of the liquid. The intermolecular space in liquids is more than that in solids and the molecules are less closely packed. Now we will come to the gases. The molecules in gases are in constant motion. The molecules consist of intermolecular force of attraction between them. However, the kinetic energy present in gases is much more than the intermolecular force present between the molecules. This causes the gas to spread easily and faster when kept in open as compared to solids and liquids. A gas consists of a large number of molecules moving in random directions. The intermolecular distance between the particles is larger as compared to solids and liquids. The particles, since they are small, the volume occupied them is also small compared to the total volume. The particles neither attract nor ripple each other. The collisions between the particles are of elastic in nature. They take place within a negligible span of time and no loss of kinetic energy occurs. The average kinetic energy of the particles is directly proportional to the temperature of the gas. The intermolecular space in gases is maximum. Students, you have learnt about the properties of solids, liquids and gases. Just go through them repeatedly.
and memorize them. That's all for today. In the next class, we shall discuss about the change of state of matter. Thank you boys and girls. Students, remain safe, remain healthy and stay at home. Goodbye.